Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hello. So we are doing a Disney video today. We're actually matching. We are, yeah. You've We've got, got the, got same the uh, We want to get all of these eventually. I've got the wired for another day. To and go. I've got who isn't dopey in the mornings. Uh, the one that I do want to get that sort of uh, started me liking these, but I didn't buy, is the Mickey Mouse one. Yeah, where he's like that. His eyes. <laughs> <laughs> is there a mini one as well? I think so, yeah. And there's a Tinkerbell one. <laughs> But today we wanted to share with you our top five that we've done quick service restaurants at Disneyland Paris. Yeah. Um, so that if you're preparing for a future trip or when the parks reopen, you know what ones to head to if you're looking for a good quick service restaurant. So a quick service restaurant at Disneyland Paris is kind of your equivalent of a fast food place. So um, it means that it's counter service. So you go up, you order your food, you pay at the counter, and then you bring back your food on a tray. Yeah. That's kind of what most quick services yeah, are. Yeah, it's stuff, to, it's designed for on the go, really. Yeah. So it's like you're just taking a little stop before you carry on uh, <laughs> around the parks. And uh, yeah, so it's not sitting down with people serving you. You pay for it, collect it from the front, and then go and enjoy. And also at Disneyland Paris, the quick service are different to the buffet restaurants. The buffet restaurants, you do go up and get your own food from the buffet, but it's all you can eat, so you can keep going back and forth. Yeah. Whereas at the quick service, they are set menus yeah. that you order from. So there'll be no mention of billabars. <laughs> but we do have our top five or six, I can't remember. Uh, it's just five. Um, our top five buffet restaurants. We recorded that a few years ago because we did the buffet dining plan for a little while. So we ate at all the buffet restaurants. Yes. So if you are interested in that, I'll pop that video in the description box. Well, if you want any videos relating to Disneyland Paris, we've actually just created a playlist. So all of our like tips, favorites yeah. and review videos will be in one place if you want to have a look at that. But yeah, let's start with our favorite quick services. So yeah, this is our top five. So in at number five, we've come for the restaurant. I've got to read this and I don't think I'm going to deliver it very well. It's called Restaurant on Coulisse. Now you might not know which restaurant I'm talking about. Because I didn't know the to name. be honest with you, the name for this place isn't around anywhere that I can see. Right. Um, the thing that makes it difficult is it's the restaurant that's built into like the, the walkway that's at Walt Disney Studios. So as you go into the park and then you walk through the bit, this like, um, it's got like a shop and it's got uh, fronts of uh, different buildings. Um, so hidden behind some of those fronts is a, is a restaurant and that's the name of it. Yeah. Um, but this is a restaurant we actually really like going to um, because we like sitting up the top yeah, we much prefer, <laughs> it's a huge restaurant because it's got seating at the bottom, but then you also can go upstairs. I don't think many people know or they don't realise that there's seats upstairs, mm. um, but you get a really nice view. So it, like you're looking out to that kind of like Hollywood-esque decor yeah. in that walkway and it has like flashing lights and it's just like a really fun feel to it. There's some really cool things hanging from the ceiling like there's a magic carpet mm. and there's magic carpet hanging huge, from the it? ceiling. It's massive. Yeah, so there's loads of like photo opportunities up there as well. Yeah, and at the moment it's one of the main places to eat at um Walt Disney Studios. There aren't really that many other places to eat. Mm -hmm. Um especially as Restaurant de Stars is closed at the moment. Yeah. But it doesn't get too busy. I think because there is so much seating. Um, that you probably do have to queue to get your food, but we've always found a table afterwards. Yeah, again, we can't say what it's like when it's really, really in a busy season. Um, but like when we've gone, we've gone sort of as soon as lunch starts. Yeah. And uh, we've been able <laughs> we've been able to get seat. Yeah. And the food there is kind of like your basic theme park food. Um, so it's a lot of like burgers, chips, sandwiches, um, and they have set menus, I think one to yeah. five or one to four. And they cover like vegetarian, I know there's vegetarian option. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a good one if you're just wanting a good quick meal and then head off around um, Walt Disney Studios. They changed the meals as well, depending on what season you're in. So like the last time we went, we had the, the Chewbacca burger. Yeah, that was good. R2D2 uh, cake. And I always get the chicken burger from there because mm. I really like it, it's good. So in at number four is Cafe Hyperion in Discoveryland. And this was actually closed on our last trip. It was. So I hope it reopens soon <laughs> when the park reopens. Um, and we really felt it's lost, didn't we? Yeah. It's a really big 
um, restaurant in um, Disneyland Paris. And with it being closed, we noticed how many other people there were trying to get into the other restaurants. Mm -hmm. If you want to go somewhere to get a seat, your best bet is going to Cafe Hyperion because there are so many places to sit. Yeah, because it's also a theatre. Yeah, it's huge. Like they do some shows there when it's during some seasons, like Christmas, they put something on in there, didn't they? Yeah. Um, But they've also got cartoons playing as well. So if you've got kids with you, Mm. it's a good place to like just take a break and uh, keep them occupied as well. Just a really nice space. I really like it. I would say that the lines do get quite long for The lines for, food. for the food get quite long. I think because it has so much seating, you don't realise how actually busy it is and how mm. many people are in there because everyone's so spread out. But of course, when you all go and line up to get your food, you then notice, oh, there are <laughs> it's actually loads <laughs> of people here. But saying that, I find it one of the most relaxing places. Yeah. If no. I want to go and just grab a snack and sit down. If we're thinking about taking a break... We always we always think, think about Cafe Hyperion, and then on the last trip we couldn't get in it, so we just sat on a, a wall outside of yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can get snacks there, but you can also get quick service meals there. I think it's quite similar to the one in Walt Disney Studios. There's a lot of like burgers, a lot of chips, um, and stuff like that. But they also do like the speciality burgers and the speciality yeah. meals. Um, I know there's been a lot of Star Wars burgers there mm-hmm. and different things. When we so went it is for, fun. When we went for breakfast, uh, was it January 2018? Yeah. Uh, I used to get an omelette burger every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do breakfast as well. So if you're in the parks early and you fancy getting breakfast, the line is very, very long. I do warn you now. Breakfast. <laughs> Um, but if you do fancy and grabbing breakfast, they do they do a nice little breakfast. Yeah, um, I, yeah. They, I think they they still must do. Yeah. The only thing is their teas are tiny. I don't know if oh, it's because t- <laughs> we're used to like mugs like this. <laughs> then, if you order a tea, it was like this big, <laughs> like a shot. <laughs> but we do love Cafe Hyperion. In at number three, this is an old favourite. This uh, it's a classic to go to it's Casey's Corner oh I love Casey's Corner uh, if you've watched our p- top places to get Instagram photos yeah and actually we uh, had Casey's Corner down as one of these um, but yeah it was it's designed uh, around baseball isn't it yeah it's very like New York style <laughs> and uh, hot dogs yeah it's very like I feel like it's quite iconic of mm. the park Casey's Corner it's been there for a ages um obviously people get loads of photos taken outside of it and yeah i just love eating there um it just reminds me of walt disney world as well because yeah in walt disney world mm-hmm. and it's good the only thing is it doesn't have as much seating no. as some say somewhere like cafe hyperion and um, they do have some seating outside but if it's hot that goes quite quick mm-hmm. um, and then inside there's very limited seating and people do end up spilling out into the walkways because um, there are some tables and chairs there as like well. In the, in the arcade bit. Um, but there has been a few times where we have got our food and there's been no seats. <laughs> yeah, we got the food. And then I think there was somebody who was uh, like letting people in yeah. if there was tables. And uh, we said, oh, well, could we just walk through? So we just walked through and then went into the arcade and had our food there. Yeah, which was fine. It was just a little bit colder, wasn't it, yeah. than inside the restaurant. So, yeah, that's one thing to bear in mind if you do want to sit down. Um, but you can always, you know, have a quick bite standing up and then head somewhere else. Um, but they do amazing hot dogs, all different, like, styles. And then you get, like, a drink as well. And, yeah, it's just a really fun, quite iconic place um, we have to nuggets? go. I think you can get nuggets. We got as nuggets well. as well. I think I remember. Yeah. Because I remember saying <laughs> in the vlog. But their trademark <laughs> is the hot dog. Mm. Uh, that's what they're known for there. Um, but it's really fun, and also if you want to eat somewhere on Main Street, if you've just come into the park or you're waiting for the fireworks or something like that, um, it's in very situated right in the middle of the park, so you won't miss it. So number two, I'm gonna have to read this one. It is Au Chalet de la Marionette. So you can guess which character that's based around. Yeah. The marionette puppet. So it's uh, Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Um, So I just call that like the Pinocchio restaurant. (laughs) Um, We love this one because I think it's got a great mix of being a practical restaurant. Like there's so many seats. It's really big. But the theming is really cute. I just Mm -hmm. love how it's decorated. So as you walk in, there's all these like Pinocchio 
They're like carvings, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to try to think of because the, the, you can see through them. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's like it's like a carved fence essentially, isn't it? Yeah, and it has that like really wooden, cozy feel to it. Um, again, you walk up, and if I remember, there's quite a few lines. Yes. So it were. didn't take too long for us to get our food. No, no. Um, it was quite spread out, and um, then there was a lot of seating as well, which was really really good. There was loads of seats. Yeah, mm. we managed to get one, no problem. Yeah. So it has all like your classic hot dogs, burgers, chicken, but it all has like a Bavarian twist. Um, so it all has that like German twist to it. So the mm-hmm. hot dog had a curry sauce. Yeah, something like that. It was a um, bit spicier than yeah. one we'd maybe get at Casey's Corner. Um, and then it also... Sausage? Was there a brat? Was it bratwurst? Bratwurst, yeah. yeah. And it also has that kind of like chalet. It reminds me a little bit of a ski chalet feel. Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's meant to be like set as if you're like up in the mountains, like that alpine kind of feel. And I just love it. It was the first time that we'd been there. Mm-hmm. Um, and we haven't been there since, have we? No, well, no, we, we didn't we, go we... on our last trip. But yeah, we really enjoyed going there. And I really want to go again um, to try something else on the menu. I'd like to try the bratwurst yeah and actually if you want to find out what the actual meal choices are uh, for when the parks reopen um, then you can actually go on the uh, Disneyland Paris website yeah so it tells you what the menu is it gives you like you think um, if you click on the restaurant it comes up view menu if you click on that it will tell you the whole menu so yeah. you can plan before you go and double check that there is something there that you you want to eat and then in at number one, it is Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful feast. Hakuna Matata. I've run out. I, I was thinking. Go <laughs> so I believe we went here in November of 2019. I think we looked at it on the last trip, but because of Cafe Hyperion being closed, it was busy. It was busy. So again, we went as soon as lunch started. Yes. Because it is a popular choice. And, and it's I, a little bit smaller. I can see why, because the food is great. Mm. Um, and the theme is great. So you go in and there's, again, there's a few tills, but then there's two sections. There's Timon and there's Pumba. Yeah. <laughs> we sat in Pumba, didn't we? Was it Timon? I can't remember that. <laughs> I'll have, have to check back on the vlogs. Yeah. Um, but uh, that'd be quite good if it was Pumba, because I believe, weren't we in the Warthog section once in uh, oh, Walt in Disney World? the festival. Where we watched the <laughs> Festival of the Lion King. But yeah, we went through that, and they've got all Lion King music playing through the speakers, which is really cool, so you can guess what, which song's playing. <laughs> uh, and yeah, there was quite a lot of tables free when we went in. Yeah. And I had a, well, I thought it was like a fajita thing at first, but it wasn't. It was a kebab, and that was really, really nice. And I had like chicken strips and chips and that was really good as well. Mm -hmm. I just found it really fun in there. I think the fact that it had like the Lion King songs play in and I love how it was decorated. Yeah. Um, It had that like Lion King African feel. Um, All the decorations are really cool. It has like loads of stuff coming off the ceiling. Yeah. And it's just a really fun themed restaurant but with good food as well. Mm Mm-hmm. But I would definitely bear in mind that it is a very popular one. Yes. So I would recommend going dot on 12 <laughs> as soon as <laughs> to it, get in as soon as lunch has started because yeah. we went at 12 and there were still people waiting there was still people queuing already yeah. Yeah. yeah they'd already let people in and they were waiting at the tills so, yeah. yeah but that's our top 5 quick service restaurants at Disneyland Paris we still have a couple that we haven't tried I know there's the one um, the Mexican one in Frontierland which we still have to do yes um, the cocoa themed one I don't know if it's cocoa themed all the time but in Halloween it has the big um, cocoa theming outside and um, I think we went to eat in there but it was really really busy last time mm-hmm. um, so yeah there's a few quick services that we, we want to give a go but that's our top five and also because we are Magic Plus annual pass holders in these quick service restaurants, we've got 10% off. Yeah, which is really, really good. Um, but definitely share below your favourite quick services at Disneyland Paris. See if they're the same as ours or if there's one which we've missed out that you're like, why did you say this one is the best? <laughs> It'd be great to hear all your suggestions. Yeah. But yeah, fingers crossed Disneyland Paris will be open soon and we can go back and we can try all these restaurants again. Mm-hmm. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Keep safe and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.